One day, when the human world and the game world dimensions got connected, different type of dungeons started appearing on Earth, and many dungeon monsters also started to invade human world. Meanwhile, humans awakened as players with the system's help, and they gained power that could fight with dungeon monsters. But humans got addicted on robbing the dungeon's resources, so the Demon King Otis ally appeared to stop them. However, Liu lead the strongest raid team to defeat him. Now, Otis ally and his dungeon monsters also get ready to face them. A fierce fight starts between the Demon King and the players, but normal players are no match for Otis ally and dungeon monsters. That's why, they are defeated very easily. Seeing this, Liu goes to fight Otis ally. However, Otis ally was much more powerful than him, so, he knocks him down very easily, and is about to kill him. But other players have captured his family members to stop him. That's why, Otis ally stops to kill Liu. Then all of a sudden, Liu stabs a spear into his chest, wounding him. Otis ally is deeply saddened by this, and decides to take revenge. Ten years later, a raid team comes to Burial Area Dungeon for collecting the material. Suddenly the suture monster starts attacking them. So, the leader asks some low-level players to lure this monster. Zhu King gets worried on hearing this, because it is his first time entering a dungeon. However, he considers it a chance for him to increase his level and agrees to this. But he also wants to return from here alive, because he has made a promise to his sister Zio. Suddenly the suture monster injures him and kills him with only one blow. But at the same time, a mysterious power is generated in his body and he comes back to his life again. Now, everyone is surprised to see him alive after the monster's attack. Then we come to know that the Demon King Otis ally is reborn in his body. Meanwhile, the monster tries to attack him again, but this time he kills it with just one attack. For this he gets 2000 experience and his level increases to level 5. Furthermore, his profession is warrior. Also, the boss's system is activated. After this, he kills a skeleton magician, and he gets 5 conqueror points. But his boss panel has been unblocked, so he cannot gain experience points by killing monsters, but can gain conqueror points. Now with the help of these points, the conqueror's eye ability is activated, which allows him to see others' level and profession. He plans to kill all these players and especially the leader. But with his current strength it is hard to do so, because the leader Andalia is a level 20 ranger. Therefore, he decides to gain more conqueror points first. Suddenly a mysterious blue flame appears, and he understood that it is the dungeon's boss. After this, a level 20 bone demon Drivagon appears. Andalia orders her team members to maintain the formation, but they are scared and run away. However, some players try to attack the bone demon dragon. But close combat doesn't work, and it is immune to long-range attacks as well. Zhu King understood that they are trapped in its flame buff already. So, he goes to attack it himself, and kills it very easily by destroying its core. For this, he gains 100 conqueror points. Now, a new authority dungeon bind is unlocked, and there are so many hidden abilities after binding with the dungeon. Suddenly Andalia attacks him, and she thinks he is dead. After this, she asks her people to kill the rest of the players as well because there must be sufficient player's death to unlock this place's hidden dungeon. And actually this mission is given to her by the clan leader. Suddenly Zhu King attacks and kills some players and guards. Now, he has gained 800 experience, and realizes that he can only kill players to gain experience. Andalia is surprised how he is still alive and can resist her attacks. Meanwhile, a level 10 warrior tries to attack Zhu King, but he uses his lightning power to paralyze and kill him instantly. Everyone is surprised to see this, and thinks if he can be a magic warrior. Now, Zhu King has gained so many experience, and is going to try out his newly unlocked ability. Just then Andalia orders everyone to attack him together. At this time, Zhu King is left with only another 50 conqueror points, and his gap compared to them is huge. That's why, he unlocks the monster summoning skill, and starts controlling the dungeon's monsters. Seeing this, she is surprised why he has such overpowered ability. However, she also uses the Beast King's flute, and the Beast King's army appears. But Zhu King can control the Bone Demon Dragon as well, and she is shocked to see this. Now, Andalia reveals that the Blood Race Guild's clan leader Stockton has ordered to raid this dungeon, because his main goal is to obtain the excellent equipment from the hidden dungeon. Furthermore, he is the cousin of that person, who participated in killing Liu. But Zhu King doesn't care about anything and kills her. He gains 5000 experience, and his level is increases to level 10. Suddenly, Hidden Dungeon is unlocked, 
as sacrifice player's amount has reached its requirements. Zhu King enters, and this castle looks so familiar to him. So, he remembers ten years ago his whole territory was changed into a dungeon by a mysterious power by many players. Zhu King finds two monsters with level 30 guarding the doors, but they bow him down. Now, as soon as he comes inside, many monsters surround him from all the sides. Zhu King understood that they are from the Undying Race. So, he activates the passive skill, because it does 100% additional damage to the Undying Race. With its help, he kills all these monsters easily. Meanwhile, because of his blood, the seal set on a level 40 demon is broken. She pushes him away with her powerful attack and injures him. Also, she tries to drink his blood, but then she finds out his true identity of Demon King Otta's ally because Blood Ray sucking blood can probe the other side's memory. He remembers his past. She was annoying, so he promised to marry 100 years later and sealed her. Now, she also knows that he sealed her on purpose, but still she likes him. He asks her if she has any first-rate equipment here. She says that she doesn't have any first-rate equipment, but she gives him the Blood Demon suit. He is surprised to see the attribute and abilities of the suit, so he equips it immediately. However, he decides to hide his true identity and power because humans must have become much stronger in these years. Suddenly, he remembers that he had added an extra barrier to prevent her from escaping. So, he has to get his past weapon to break this barrier. He thinks it might have been taken by the player who killed him. Therefore, he asks her to wait till he gets his weapon. Now, he uses his skill points and unlocks three skills, Armor Breaking Slash, War Cry, and Earth Shattering Slash. Furthermore, he transforms back to the previous clothes, so that no one can suspect him when he gets out. After this, he comes out and closes the gate. Everyone is surprised, because he is the only survivor. Just then Luo Cheng stops Xu King, and asks if he took the item inside the dungeon, to which he replies that the leader started killing other players, and he somehow manages to hide. Now, the player asks him about the first raid equipment. Then Xu King asks if he is the one who ordered the leader to slaughter them. Hearing this, he angrily goes to attack him, but guild leader Stockton stops him. He apologizes to him and leaves from here, because the association's GM is also there, so it is not a good time to take actions. Now, Ju King understood that the actual mastermind behind this plan was Stockton, so he decides to finish him off when the time is right. Association's GM Lao Zhang comes to Ju King. His level is 45 and wants to test his level to register this information. Zhu King let him test his level, but Lao Zhang is unable to detect his boss's identity. Lao Zhang is surprised, as his level is only 10, but survived in this burial area's dungeon. Zhu King tries to reveal that he killed the leader and the players, but Lao Zhang doesn't believe him. He gives Zhu King his player ID card, and now he can participate in dungeon raid missions. Otis ally decides to fulfill Zhu King's last wish, because his sister Zio is his only family member, and they got abandoned by their parents when they were young. Now, Otis ally considers Zhu King's sister as his sister, and he will protect her for him. On the other hand, some local boys are bullying Zio, because Zhu King has taken debt and not paid the interest. Just then Zhu King comes here, and starts counting how much experience he can get this time. He beats up all of them before anyone can even react. Now, they start begging for their lives. Zhu King asks Zio if he should kill them, but she requests him to let them go. Zhu King thinks a local bully like him can be used, and asks if he knows about the black market, to which the local boy replies that he is familiar with places like those. Now, Zhu King gives him all the looted equipments and materials. He asks him to sell them and use the money to directly clear the debt. Seeing so many stuffs, he decides to work for him, and will take 5% commission. Zhu King agrees, but forbids to tell anyone about him. After this, local boy leaves from here to sell the stuffs. Zhu King apologizes to his sister for being late and making her worry. After some time, Zio falls asleep, and Zhu King wonders if his family from Otis Ally's life had anyone survived. He opens the Bound Dungeons Dimension Gate to attract players, so that he and his dungeons monsters can level up by killing them. Zhu King tries to cook breakfast for Zio, but he has forgotten how to cook food. Just then the local boy comes here. He gives Zhu King a card, and there is 200 million inside. Looking at his sister's face, he realizes that it is not a small amount. Now, he gives the local boy the responsibility to take care of Zio, but no player wants to accept his raid request, and he can't even enter the dungeon if the capacity is not met. Meanwhile, a team offers him to join them, and he immediately agrees. But actually, Luo Cheng has sent some of his players in this team to kill Zhu King. After this, they go to raid the Lizard Man Lake dungeon. They enter the dungeon and Lizardmen start attacking them. But Zhu King decides to hide his true power, and he will only use Warrior's skill for now. 
he activates his war cry skill to kill the lizardmen monsters. After this, they come to the seashore. Suddenly, the magician attacks Zhu King and knocks him down. The healer is shocked to see this, but they ask her to keep her mouth shut if she wants to live. Just then a level 20 deep sea catfish appears and attacks Zhu King. They think he is killed by the monster, but he survives by killing it, and warns them that they have used it at the wrong target. On the other hand, Stockton asks Luo Cheng if the killer he sent is reliable, because Stockton knows that Zhu King has a strange aura, so they cannot underestimate him. To which Luo Cheng replies that Zhu King is no match for her, and he won't even know how he died. On the other hand, they have surrounded Zhu King, but he is not worried about it at all and kills the magician first. After this, he tries to kill the warrior guy with his lightning power, but he doesn't even get paralyzed, and they don't even care about their lives to kill him. Luckily, Zhu King had kept a trump card and kills them. Zhu King notices they were acting as if they are zombies. Now the healer starts healing him. Suddenly his body becomes so stiff, and he is not able to move his body. He then realizes that actually healer is the one who has done this to him and she is controlling his body using mental spirit control type of skill. In reality, she wanted to control those three people to kill him, acting as a victim. But Zhu King has disrupt her plan, so she wants to kill him with her hands. Zhu King notices the powerful player on the shore. He asks how long she is planning to watch the show, because he knows her intention, and without his guide, she won't be able to find that equipment. Hearing this, she uses her sword and kills the healer in a single blow. Now, Zhu King is thankful she is not on the same side as her. She starts asking him where the equipment is located, to which Zhu King tells her to take off the helmet first. After that, she reveals herself. Her name is Nana Miyamoto, and her profession is swordsman with level 80. She keeps her sword on his neck. Then Zhu King reveals that without his guide she will never be able to find it. But she doesn't believe him first, and asks what item she is looking for. To which Zhu King replies twin evil blades, and also reveals that he hid that item here during his journey around the world. Now, she believes him and asks where it is, because that weapon is her profession Awaken Key. But Zhu King doesn't know about Awaken Profession Key, and asks about it. Then she explains that after reaching level 20, players can upgrade and change their profession. But the so-called Profession Awaken again happens after reaching level 80. However, awakening conditions are very strict and it is the level all players dream to achieve. Currently, there are a total of 7 awakened players, and they are known as the 7 heroes. Hearing this, Zhu King thinks that the 4 that killed him must be among them. Now, he comes to a secret place with her. He hands her over the twin evil blades, which is kept inside the black cloth. She tries to remove the black cloth, and a mysterious power appears. Just then Zhu King feels like he is forgetting something very important. Suddenly, Dungeon's boss appears and Zhu King tries to kill him, but his defense is so much high, and Zhu King can't even scratch him. He then tries to attack with Soul Lock Hook skill, but Dungeon's boss dodges it easily. He starts attacking Zhu King with very high speed. Now, Zhu King realizes that the level cap is way too large, so he decides to use his strongest skill and attacks with Bone Demon Flame. However, Dungeon's boss dodges it very easily. At the same time, he also attacks Zhu King with his flame, and injures him very badly making a large hole in his stomach. Now, he starts thinking if the Great Otis ally will die here today. Meanwhile in the Burial Area Dungeon, Stockton has sent his subordinates to search for equipment, but Bone Demon Dragon attacks and starts killing everyone. Because of this, Ju King gains so many experience, and his level is increases to level 15. Now, he dodges Dungeon's boss attack and his wounds automatically get recovered, because his level has increased. Zhu King starts attacking him, but Dungeon's boss has high HP and high defense, so it is very hard to deal with him. Just then Dungeon's boss enters into Berserk mode, so all attributes increase by two times. After that, he is going to injure Zhu King, but Miyamoto injures him in the meantime, and tells Zhu King to take it. Zhu King thanks her and kills that level 40 boss. He gains 1000 Conqueror points, and Demon King Challenge mission also unlocks. So, if he teleports to the challenge room and complete the mission, he can obtain a special reward. But Zhu King decides to check it out later, after they exit this place. Just then Miyamoto gives him a specially made badge. So, if he ever needs her help, he can come to Miyamoto house. After this, they come out of the dungeon. Stockton's subordinate surprises to see him alive. Zhu King tells him to pass a message that he is coming to find Stockton. This man wonders why he is shivering in fear, because even Stockton does not not give him such a feeling. That's why, he thinks that Zhu King is a real monster. On the other hand, Stockton's another subordinate informs him Burial Area's plan is failed. Meanwhile, he receives a call from his subordinate, 
and comes to know that Ju King is still alive. Stockton gets mad listening, but his subordinate advises him not to provoke Ju King, and also, he resigns. However, Stockton wants to kill Ju King at any cost, so, he orders to capture his sister and bring her over. On the other hand, Ju King arrives to his house, but his house is destroyed, and some people are beating local boy. Now, Ju King starts asking about Zio. Local boy feels sorry and tells him that, that these bad guys took Zio away. One of them asks Ju King to come with them to meet their boss. But Ju King replies he does not need so many people to lead the way and kills them except one. Now, Ju King tells him to lead the way, otherwise he will kill him. Ju tells local boy that he needs to rush there quickly, so he needs his help with another matter. After this, Ju King comes to Stockton's location and starts asking his underlings about his sister. They surround him and ask if he has brought what Stockton wanted, to which he replies that they have crossed the line, and he does not negotiate with those who threaten him. Now, everyone tries to attack him together, but he dodges their attack easily, and starts killing everyone. One of them starts begging for his life, to which Yu King says that they can try to harm him, but they should not have come after his little sister. After that, he kills him too. Stockton and Luo Cheng are watching and examining his combat ability from away. Now, Luo Cheng realizes that Yu King is not a simple player. Then, Stockton tells him not to worry, because they still have his little sister as hostage. Yu King asks Stockton to return Zio back to him, but Luo Cheng activates his level 25 beast transformation. He tells Zhu King that he is still alive, because he has the thing they want. To which Zhu King replies they will all die here today. Hearing this, Luo Cheng comes to attack. But Zhu King activates Steel Shield skill and blocks his attack very easily. So, Luo Cheng uses Magic Skin passive skill to reduce magic damage. After that, fight starts between them. However, Zhu King's strength surpasses Luo Cheng's. So, he starts punching him hard and pushes him back. Now, Luo Cheng is shocked and wonders how strong Zhu King is. After that, he activates Primative Power to increase his strength and speed. He again tries to attack Zhu King with unbelievable speed, but Zhu King catches him easily and throws him on the ground killing him, because he has activated level 1 Vampire Enhancement. Now, Zhu King tells Stockton that next turn is his. Hearing this, Stockton sends Zio inside his puppet. Now, Zhu King starts worrying about her. Stockton is curious whether Zhu King dies first, or his sister's life force gets drained. In this situation, Zhu King cannot use a strong spell to attack, because it might also hurt his sister. Zhu King tries to dodge Puppet's attack, but gets injured. Stockton is laughing at him, because time is gradually passing, and his sister's life will reach an end soon. Now, Puppet is going to kill him. Suddenly, someone destroys the Puppet, and Zhu King saves his sister. Seeing this, Stockton is surprised at how Zhu King did it. He then finds out that attack was from her, and wonders why she is here. Miyamoto tells Zhu King not to worry, because her attack did not harm his sister. Furthermore, she asks if he needs her help to kill Stockton. Hearing this, Stockton starts worrying, but Zhu King asks her just to take care of Zio, because he wants to finish Stockton himself. Now, Miyamoto promises Zhu King to protect his little sister, even if she needs to risk her life. After this, she leaves from here with Zio. Stockton gets ready to fight Zhu King, and says it was his only chance to live. But Zhu King wonders how much experience he will gain from killing him. Now, they start fighting each other, and Stockton activate Dark Shadow Assault skill. This is how the first part of the manhwa ends. If you want the second part, comment below with the word Demon King Part 2. Also, subscribe to any summary for more manga recap.